Good morning, everybody. This is Jeff J. Brown, China Rising Radio, Sinoland, and Chiang Mai, Thailand. Uh, before we get started, uh, above and below, above and below uh, in uh, the uh, YouTube uh, description, the SoundCloud description, and on this um, web page uh, for the podcast article are uh, my uh, email to make a, a quick donation. Uh, or you can also use the fundraiser button. Uh, every one of these uh, programs that I do for all of you take many, many, many hours of uh, research or rewriting five to ten times, uh, plus all of the uh, production uh, afterwards. Thank you. All right, this one is entitled Rare Film Footage Shows How the United States Attacked China and North Korea with Germ Warfare 1951 to 1952. Here we go. The West's big lie propaganda machine, the BLPM, is so witheringly effective at brainwashing most of humanity. A good example? The truth about the United States' blatant germ warfare during the Korean War uh, has been flushed down the global memory hole. The proof of the proof that the United States bombed North Korea and China with bioweapons during the Korean War is so conclusive that all of the West oligarchs have been able to do for almost 70 years is lie, deny, lie, deny. It never happened, the BLPM says. It's all fake. Yeah, sure. But it works. Almost no one knows the true story, and it matters, especially with all the crimes against humanity committed by the Imperial West since the 15th century, with chemical, biological, and nuclear weapons since the 20th century, with the U.S. and China disputing where and how SARS uh, coronavirus 2 started and whether it is bioengineered, historical perspective is crucial at getting to the truth. Your Anglo land has a long proven history of using weapons of mass destruction, WND. China has none. This was an inspiration for several other fellow journalists, writers, and me to create the Bioweapon Truth Commission and its global online library. I volunteered to be the library curator, spending hundreds of hours compiling it, still ongoing. It is one of my proudest achievements. It has thousands of audiovisual pages, minutes, and images, even covering the West use of chemical warfare starting in World War I. Access it for free and download any and all of it here, www.bioweaponTruth.com. Be sure to look at the International Scientific Report directory, uh, ISCR, where you can read through this 650-page, slam-dunk, bulletproof smoking gun research. Below is a five-minute short video from the 1950s that shows how the U.S. delivered germ warfare in North Korea and China and how the Chinese kept it from spreading. Many thanks to Zhu Bi Mo, who spent several hours transcribing the Chinese to English and then putting English subtitles back into the clip. Below the movie and sound, cla- and sound po- podcast are in English and Chinese transcriptions. Here are the, here's the transcript in English. I'm not going to read the, tr- uh, the transcript in Chinese, but here it is in uh, English. On the night of January 27, 1952, a number of U.S. aircraft circled lowly above the Chinese People's Volunteer Army 42 position at uh, Chulwanggun, but did not dive and bomb as usual. The next morning, Li Guangfu, a soldier of the 375th Regiment, found a large number of flies, fleas, and spiders on the snow in Jinggu. In the following days, a large number of such insects were continuously found in front of and behind North Korea by the voluntary army units, and they all appeared in the area where U.S. aircraft passed by, hovering at low altitude. The usual U.S., uh, and this is, uh, this is a quote from uh, Mr. Uh, Zhuo Jian, then the 50th Army's en- enemy engineer officer, 
The usual U.S. military plane dived and immediately followed by a strafe and several lives were lost. It was weird those few nights. Hmm. No one was injured or died, yet so weird. Then there's a, uh, a Han Han Yufang, then observer of the second artillery division. Some found that the shells dropped without bursting. We wonder what the U.S. military was doing. There was a bang and the two parts looked like a cow's manger. The next morning, snakes, mice, and cockroaches were found. At that time, North Korea had the lowest temperature of the year. A large number of insects appeared out of season, and the situation was abnormal. Next is a Chen Xiu Shi, then Secretary of the Ministry of Health of the Volunteer Army. At that time, samples were taken for testing, and they were directly sent to the Korean People's Army Supreme Health Defense Agency. The test results confirmed that it was germ warfare. Next, Zhang Guimian, then trainer of the 27th military camp, said, The enemy carried out a bacterial warfare. I got typhus fever, a fever of more than 40 degrees Celsius, and a lot of lice on the snow. You can see them clearly, and the prank and file, and the rank and file live around, live around there. A family of three down at the camp, at the base of my camp, had fallen ill from germ warfare. Next, Zhang Guangping, then nurse of the 23rd Military Division Health Camp, said, Some soldiers got sick and didn't know what the disease was. But at this time, the germ warfare had begun. Later, after some soldiers died, they could not find the reason, so then carried the body to our operating room for dissection. After testing by epidemic prevention experts, the germs carried by these insects are classified as cholera, typhoid fever, plague, and recurrent fever. In February and March, various infectious insects were found in uh, Fuxuan, Andong, and other regions in northeastern China after the invasion of the U.S. Air Force. Then Guo Mozhuo said on February 24th, uh, by the way, Guo Mozhuo was chairman of the Anti-U.S. and uh, Aid Korea Association. He issued a statement calling on the people of the country to mobilize to, to resolutely deter and stop the U.S. Army from spreading bacterial crimes. On March 8th, Chinese Premier Zhou Enlai issued a statement protesting the U.S. government's use of bacterial weapons and violations of Chinese airspace. On October 29th, the World Peace Council convened and passed the Antibacterial Warfare to the Men and Women of the World, the International Association of Democratic Lawyers, and the International Scientific Com Committee sent investigation teams to conduct field investigations in North Korea and Northeast China. The results of the investigation confirmed that the U.S. military did conduct a germ warfare and captured American pilot Quinn and others confessed to participating in the germ warfare. Next, Lee Chuen Chang, then military officer of the 68th Army, said, he provided a confession that the two of them had dropped bacterial bombs in 1953, the People's Daily published the confessions of the two captives. The Central Committee of the Communist Party of China and the Central Military Commission made a decisive decision, launched a comprehensive antibacterial battle, and called on the troops and the people to be neither panicked nor paralyzed. They must firmly believe that the defensive forces of the masses can defeat the enemy's bacterial war. Epidemic prevention is the key of antibacterial warfare. Within a few days, the headquarters of the general staff and the logistics department urgently shipped millions of various vaccines and anti-epidemic supplies to North Korea. At that same time, from the domestic organization of epidemic prevention team members, experts are dispatched to form inspection and anti-epidemic teams, and inspections, medicines, and equipment were carried to North Korea. Due to the timely prevention and control of effective and effective measures, the Chinese and North Korean armed forces and people have well controlled the occurrence and development of the epidemic, 
in launching a bacterial war has condemned uh, the United States from the international community and public opinion, making it more isolated internationally. Unfortunately, that did not happen because of the big lie propaganda machine uh, completely uh, steamrolling uh, the uh, results of uh, all of this uh, overwhelming evidence and, uh, and suppressing it uh, severely, which is why we opened the uh, global online library at uh, the Bioweapon Truth Commission. Uh, below is the Chinese uh, transcription of, of the same movie clip. Thank you for joining me. This is Jeff J. Brown signing out. Bye-bye.